Hello, blessings to you all, chosen ones. I pray everyone is having an awesome day. I want to give you all this word that the Holy Spirit has put in my spirit a couple of days ago, and it is reveal. The Holy Spirit wants us to reveal ourselves to the world. It is time out for procrastinating. It is time out for fear. It is time out for worrying about what others may say or think about you. We just have to reveal ourselves among men because we do not know who we could be keeping the word from. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Latoya T. Wolford, and I am glad you have joined this video. I pray you are blessed and favored over this word, that this word brings you wisdom and understanding. I am a life coach, an author, and a motivational speaker, and I also have a podcast, and you are welcome to listen to it anytime you feel the need. But what I want to say about this word, chosen ones, we have to stop playing around and do what God has called us to do because it is real out here. It is serious. He gave me this word, and I'm going to tell you all a quick story. He gave me this word while I was about to post, and I was procrastinating. I didn't really want to post it. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't going to post it. This is, a new, this is a new page, so I'm really not going to post it. And I heard the word reveal. Do y'all know that I posted that video so fast on social media? I posted because it was off um off my um page for the chosen ones. So I posted the video. And when I posted that video, you all, do you know it reached so many people? It really reached a lot of people in this world, throughout this world. And that just let me know right there that by us holding back, we don't know who may need us, who needs to hear that word. The word that may save their lives, may change their hearts. So we cannot do that because it made me feel some type of way, you know, sensitive a little bit because everybody, you know, was saying, you know, thank you for this word, amen, and all that. So what would have happened if I wouldn't have posted it? It wouldn't have never gotten out. Not my word, maybe another word, but not what God put on my heart to say. So we have to be very careful about doing that. I want to give you all a scripture. The Holy Spirit gave me this scripture today. And it is in Galatians 1 verses 15 through 16. And it says, but when he who had, I'm sorry, but when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me through his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the Gentiles. Okay, I'm going to read Amplified Version. But when he who had chosen and set me apart, even before I was born and had called me by his grace, his undeserved favor and blessing, saw fit and was pleased to reveal, unveiled, disclosed, his son within me so that I might proclaim him among the Gentiles. The non-Jewish Jewish world on, I mean, I'm sorry, as the glad tidings, the gospel, the good news. Immediately, I did not confer with flesh and blood. Did not, I did not consult or counsel with any human being or communicate with anyone. Okay, you all. So... I'm going to list this description, this scripture in a description box. But as you can see, as you can, as you are listening, that when we reveal ourselves, that's what God want us to do. We was chosen by God, so we cannot hold back on the people in the world who we are connected to. We have to, like, just go with full force. We have to. Don't forget about the naysayers and what someone may say or what you think someone may say because you feel like the word ain't right or the word ain't up to part but remember god knows your heart and god gave you to words to gave you the word to get out there to the nations 
So we cannot hold back on what God has given us. So open your mouth and reveal everything that God has put inside of you. Blessings to you all. I will see you all in the next video. Blessings.